Welcome back to this epic video series where I have AI and chat GPT create my Etsy shop for me. If you guys missed part one, make sure you go back and check that out. It helped I uh, used chat GPT and AI to help me find and narrow my niche for Etsy. That's starting point number one. Number two, in this video, I'm gonna talk about and have chat GPT help me with my branding my shop name, my logo, my shop colors, all that stuff so I can continue to build out my Etsy shop using AI. So stay tuned and check it out. Now that ChatGPT has helped us narrow down our niche from a digital product to specifically traveling printable, traveling journals, lists, uh, things of that nature. We got our sub niche, so we know what we're gonna focus our product line on. But first, before we move into helping chat or asking chat GPT what specific product line we should have within the travel and adventure niche, uh, we are going to help it, have it help us create our brand. Our, you know, what our logo should entail, what our shop name should be. Uh, those are the main things, maybe what our colors are. I'm not sure how involved it's gonna get, how much you know, that information is going to give us. We're learning this together. I haven't researched this at all or haven't tested this at all. So I am flying blind. You guys are following the journey with me as I'm doing it live and that's gonna be part of the fun, part of the chaos. <laughs> we'll see where this goes. So let me pop into chat GPT and we're gonna ask it some questions here. I want to ask you a bunch of questions I want to have them answered immediately. All right, here we go. So this is the same forum I used uh, before, but we are going to ask it specifically, uh, I am opening an Etsy shop for travel and adventure, digital, digital downloads, such as journals, planners, packing lists, packing lists, I can spell that and bucket lists. I need five potential shop names that are catchy, original, and represent my niche. Let's see what it gives me. <laughs> Congratulations on your decision to open an Etsy shop for travel and adventure digital downloads. All right, so here we go. Now, granted, I'm gonna have to, when I go to open the shop, I'm gonna have to see if any of these are taken because some of these may be taken. I don't know if ChatGPT can say that, can see that, but we got Wander Printables, Journey Journey Journals Co., Globetrotter Planners, Travelers, Treasure Hub, Adventure Designs HQ. All right, so I, I'm gonna inter intervene here. I know we got five. It's not gonna tell me which one's the best one. So I'm gonna have to use my human sense to intervene, but I'm still using the uh, the chat uh, AI to pick one. So I wanna say, I don't know exactly what product line is gonna guide me. I know we're gonna create travel printables. Uh, it could be journals, um, it could be uh, bucket lists. It could be a little bit of everything, depending on what, what it gives me, as long as it gives me enough information to create a nice product line but I'm gonna stay a little bit more general because I'm not sure exactly what I'm creating. So I don't wanna do journey journals because uh, I may have other stuff in there and that is not a journal. So I'd like to be a little bit more broad uh, than be super specific, at least up front, uh, as far as what I'm doing. And this is something that you guys may consider too if you're creating a shop, uh, depending on your what the future holds and the vision for your shop, you may be a little bit more broad uh, or a little bit more specific, it really depends. So I'm gonna actually just go with Wander Printables. Uh, that seems easy enough, and uh, it is a little bit more general. Uh, Wander is, it's Wander, not Wanderer. Um, so it's, it's you know, you're a wanderer, you like to travel, you like adventure, stuff like that. So uh, the other one, Adventure Designs HQ would be good too. That may be my backup. Uh, in case Wander Printables is taken. So I'll keep that as my backup. We won't know this until I get to the open the shop stage and actually go into Etsy and actually type in the name and see if it's taken or not. I may have, you can abbreviate your shop name too, so we'll deal with that when it comes. All right, so we got our shop name, Wander Printables. 
So now I wanna see what type of color combinations and or logo information it'll give me as far as creating this. I am opening an Etsy shop called Wander Printables that will sell digital downloads of travel journals, planners, packing lists, etc. Would what elements make up a good logo? Um, maybe a little bit, the more information you give it, the more accurate this is, but we'll see what it kind of gives me as far as a logo. So it may be a little bit more general. Here are some elements to consider when designing your logo. Color scheme, which is a color palette that reflects on travel and adventure theme. Earthy tones, vibrant colors or a combination. Font style, easy to read. All right, so let's give me modern typeface or handwritten script. Imagery, travel related imagery icons. Simplicity. The logo design simple. Um, include your shop names. Versatility. Design your logo in a way that allows you to look good in both black and white formats. Original. I keep a unique and distinctive logo that sets your brand apart from competitors and resonates with your target audience. All right, cool. Um, I don't think there's no way that this will write. <laughs> this will create a logo for me. This is all I can use this information to create a logo. I'll probably use Canva. But all of this, I will follow it to a T. Obviously, it's a little subjective, uh, but it is pretty much telling me how to create a logo. But let me just see. I don't think this thing will create a logo for me. Um, I highly doubt it. Let's just copy this. I know it can do graphs and stuff, but I think it's mostly, it's a language platform. So ooh, let me see. Can you create a logo for me? There's no way that this is gonna work. I had to try, right? Yeah, text-based model. I knew it was gonna say that. Obviously it's text-based model, but uh, use an online logo maker. There are several online logo makers such as Canva. All right, so just give me some actual uh, tools that I can use or I can hire somebody. All right, so I'm gonna do it myself based on this criteria. They give me seven steps that I'm gonna follow and I'm gonna create uh, this logo. So I'm gonna do this uh, in Canva. Screw it, I'll take you along on my journey while I'm fumbling through this and uh, using these criteria and we'll see what we come up with. So that's the criteria that AI wants us to follow to build this logo, let's get it built. So that is going to be our wander. I always want, I want to say wanderer <laughs> and wander printables logo that we got. So boom, we got our color scheme, got a color palette um, for our Etsy logo. And just like that, we used AI to help us create a logo and along with Canva, you can see how awesome Canva is. There'll be a link below if you guys want to try out Canva. There is a free version. There's a, a paid version that has more stuff. Uh, but yeah, what do you guys think of this logo? I think it's pretty cool. Uh, and a logo is one of those things that people get caught up in and spend a lot of time in. I literally just created this in what, five minutes? And it could be changed. It's not permanent. I can change this down the road if I want. Um, I can tweak this uh, if I decide that I don't like it anymore. But this gives us a great starting point. Now we have a logo. We can pop it right in our shop. If you're not amazed yet, there is more videos coming in this series. In the next video, I'm gonna dive in and have ChatGPT and AI help me create my product line and my product that I'm going to sell to create it from scratch, design it, get it ready to put in my Etsy shop uh, to get my shop open and ready to go. So that's coming very soon. Stay tuned.